So yeah, this challenge goes out to, to you guys, guys that watch um, the, uh, the lovely people that comment on these videos. The more we do, what can you pick up in your local stages, reach for a tenner? Goes out to the beer community as a whole. Um, you want to get involved again? Yeah, I don't know, Scott. I did do it last year and I really enjoyed getting involved in doing that series of beers, but I did say I wasn't going to talk about supermarket beers so much this year. I did say I was going to try and buy less beers this year because oh, I bought far too much already. Ah, who am I kidding? It's only a tenner. Let's go, Sainsbury's. <laughs> from Sainsbury's with a reasonable little haul. Let's see what we got. Once again, I've got something new, something I haven't had before, something regular that I'm used to, something I'm aware of, something a little bit strange. Same as it, it in most of the last videos in this range. Uh, thanks to Scott for starting these up again. I did enjoy doing it. I was, I mean, I read about weather too, but something to do for the afternoon. Uh, um, so, yeah. Sainsbury's I went to was a, probably a medium-sized Sainsbury's. It wasn't a massive superstore, uh, but slightly bigger than the one uh, I went to that had closed down. And to be fair, their beer range was pretty poor, and being it's now an Audi, beer range is probably better in there. But uh, off to big Sainsbury's, and this is what I got. And so I thought uh, start with something a little bit different. Uh, the first one up is uh, Fuller's Black Cab Stout. 4.5%. Uh, Made obviously in London by Fuller's. Um, probably fairly recognisable one, I think. Uh, I've seen it around quite a lot. I've never seen it in bowls. I don't think I've actually ever bothered to pick up one of these before, even though I like stouts as probably a mainstay of my drinking. So I thought it's about time I have a look into that and see what I've missed, really. And um, probably changed a lot. Um, something that I have had before, but not for a while. Bit of a decision splitter on this one uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about it and not necessarily in positive terms but I remember quite liking it uh, it's sweet and spicy the Blanford Fly from Badger I'll endorse it 5.2% golden ale uh, I do like something with uh, something a little bit extra additional flavors rather than just a standard hot profile so um, if I remember right it's kind of a gingery kind of thing if I think if I remember rightly um both those uh under two pounds i think it's 170 180 i think something like that uh and still on something on a regular i've actually um reviewed this one previously i think on a video timothy taylor landlord but the dark version again because i like dark beers uh 4.1 percent um something a little bit different and possibly a little bit daft right now, Stiegel Radler Grapefruit. Now, regular viewers will probably got bored of me going on about how I don't really like grapefruit, especially in beer, which is why I'm not a big fan of citrus and a lot of the pale ales where the hot profile is basically grapefruit and that kind of pininess. So why have I got this one? Well, it was only two quid. It was a 500 mil can, so kind of keeping it in line with the bottles. And it did come in underneath all these, like 160, 170, so I was going to come in under... 10 quid anyway and I thought well let's just give it a go it might be a laugh for a video just to maybe explain why I don't really like grapefruit um, obviously it's a rattler so it's a light one um two percent it might stay around a while till the summer months before I actually get around to it but I thought I'd give it a go it's something a bit different something a bit of a laugh and then because they were all only just under two quid and that one was two quid 
I didn't really have a lot of wiggle room to play, so I just went with a five. I mean, could have done something daft and got a really cheap 2% Sainsbury's bitter or log or whatever it was, four for four for a quid it was. And I'm like, yeah, I don't even I don't need to be doing that, particularly when I can get something decent. So I saved the best till last and finally found a bottle of, of five points best, five points. Uh, well respected uh, craft brewery uh, down in London, Hackney. Right. Um, I did say I wasn't going to do best until I actually got a chance to go to the Pembury Tower and I got to Five Points Brewery itself. But since it was there, and again, just under two quid, rounded off five beers for ten are quite nicely. Um, not necessarily the most impressive list. Again, it's just stuff I kind of like or wanted to try really so a little bit of everything a good range yeah i got a golden ale there got a best beer and something dot stout and something weird and unusual um yeah i'm quite happy with that for a tenner it's not not too not too bad a lineup say it wasn't a massive selection uh in there obviously a lot of like real ales uh fairly traditional uh bottles but again, 500 mil bottle for under two quid, quite a good value. Uh, a lot of stuff I'd had before, a lot of stuff I'm not too fussed about. Um, even in the craft section, I would say there wasn't much, and obviously you're not getting, you're going to get less for a tenner in the craft section. Um, there was a couple of small cans for two quid that I could have put in. But yeah, went with this, quite happy with it. Five beers for a tenner, which not too bad at all. Thanks once again to Scott uh, for putting it out there. I hope you enjoyed this little look at cheap beers from supermarkets. Even though I said I wouldn't be doing it too much. I will put a link to the original video from uh, Scott from Scott and Wonders World. Uh, if you haven't seen that, all go and check that one out as well. And if you haven't already, please click the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you for the next video, whenever that may be. I've been Disco Rascal and Disco Beer Review. Enjoy the beers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.